Hey lovelies and welcome back! I want to quickly show you a playing card deck that is a of Russian something. This is not vintage, so to speak. This is something newer that I found in a little, I don't know, shop boutique like thing in this little town. So I thought I haven't seen this one and let's see what it has in it. So these are the backs. This is a musician, I think. I'm not sure. Two of them. So I think uh, they are supposed to be jokers. And let's have a look see. Oh, the cardstock is really flimsy. Mm, not so good. And these are quite small. Let me see if I have the vintage vintage playing card stick somewhere. I know I have it somewhere. I keep walking away from you all the time. Okay, yeah, this is the the vintage poker deck I have playing cards and these are smaller and the cardstock is like this while these are I can't bend them as much these are really flimsy so let's look anyways what we have here I'm not sure how how blurry it is. The art is quite nice. I like that there are some kind of illustrations there. Yeah, this is the part of me going back to my roots and using playing cards again more. Not as much though, because I really love tarot decks. But... I love that these are reversible. I had trouble with with uh, reading the poker sized decks that weren't usually illustrated like 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 you can see my old deck not at all reversible in any way. But I have learned to read them with reversals. And I had to mark my decks to see which way up they were to get a reading. So yeah, interesting deck, feels so tiny right after I just finished the review of the Golden Tarot, the difference is so big right now that my brain is not comprehending it, I think, <laughs> that these cards just feel too darn small for me, but But all and all, I really love it. And let me show you what I'm talking about. This I just reviewed and opened this deck. 
<laughs> and you can imagine my brain just not comprehending things right now. How can one deck? Oh, sorry. How can one deck be so tiny and yet actually usable? Let me see how they shuffle. Not bad, even. Let me see. Oh, they are maybe great for the... Oh, they are too flimsy, too small to do that, I think. Let me try again. Yep. Well, we can do that. So, this was the Russian, 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 1999 deck of tiny playing cards, numbered even. Well, what do you know? Okay, thank you for watching and bye!